thank you everyone for joining. Really appreciate uh, um, everybody making it. Uh, Happy New Year. Um, if I have not had a chance to say that, it's it's great to have everyone here in the new year. I, I know it's I know it's hard getting back into the swing of things after after a holiday break. So um, thanks everyone for coming. Um, standard agenda, uh, nothing too different. Um, introductions. I think everyone here knows everyone, so it's not a big not nothing we need to do. Um, uh, funding open WRT projects. Um, I haven't heard an update on the ADB uh, TR069 uh, integration. I'm, I'm, uh, I, you know, Luca and his team are working on that. I'm not exactly sure where they are. I haven't heard um, an update. Uh, I did hear uh, uh, if you're on the TR069 group, um, we had an update from uh, Felix, and he he basically said more or less that he considers the um, uh, I'm thinking Zoni and what the name of his his project is. Uh, the scale. There we go. Um, that's the scale is is basically in um, in beta, and he he considers it more or less feature complete. He's he's waiting for feedback on people to see you know does it meet your needs. Um, so if you are particularly interested in, in integrating a tier 069 stack or really any t sort of uh, stack that, that, that might fit into that, um, please give him feedback on that and see whether it actually does meet, his, meet your needs um, and if you have any uh, additional thoughts on that. Um, Felix couldn't make the meeting today. He had, he had a conflict. so. Um, any any thoughts from anyone? Anyone noticed? Look into this and have anything that they that they noticed that just didn't work, or they or anything along those lines. All right. Well, um, if you are in that TR zero sixty nine group, please please give feedback. If you're not in the TR zero sixty nine group, and uh, please please let me know. I can add you to that discussion. Excuse me, um, and I'm I'm happy to do so. Um, next round of funding, we're again accepting projects on a rolling basis. Uh, please submit your projects. Um, we have some, I think, uh, some good ones that that are coming in that we're going to get some more feedback on. Um, and I I know there's an, that um, there will probably be a submission related to that IoT sensor uh, API that which I think will be really interesting and really fits into. Uh, what what's kind of the what's going on right now? Uh, so I think that is uh, that is important. Any thoughts on on that? Anyone? Hey Eric, this is Art. So, yeah. Um, there was a little bit of feedback on Felix's project, so on the scale development. So there's been at least one input back. So I'd encourage everybody to. Um, give feedback on that so we can complete that project and complete the funding of it. And then uh, we have a board meeting next week, so we'll at least discuss uh, some of the project ideas that have been submitted in this uh, new round, and we'll see if we get to approval of any of those. Definitely. All right. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with certainly uh, reiterate what Art said. Uh, with uh, please give us give your feedback on on these projects and um, you know so we can get them get them to the state where they're going to meet the needs of everyone. Um, board farm status not a lot uh, from my end. Anyone else doing anything with board farm? We have some some plans, but at the moment I think it's just mostly adding tests for our particular. Thing, um, okay. so yeah, no, no, nothing that's useful to anybody else at the moment. I'm afraid. Okay. Well, well I'm glad people are using it. Uh, regulatory update. Uh, unsurprisingly, there is not a lot going on over the holidays um, when it comes to the regulatory area. Uh, I did uh, see that there is a um, a rumor that that the uh, chief engineer. Um, at the FCC, uh, Julius Knapp is going to be leaving. Um, 
he uh, kind of spoke in favor of um, of a multi-stakeholder forum at the TAC meeting to look into Wi-Fi um, and and how and how how to handle this in a way that uh, meets the needs of you know of open source community and things like that. Uh, I, I I don't know how true that is, but that is a uh, sounds pretty pretty strong. So um, I don't know what that means going forward. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, you know stuff up in the air with the change in administration, with the new people that are going to be at the FCC and what their priorities are going to be and all those kind of things. So um, unsurprisingly, uh, there isn't a lot of uh, details and clarity and stuff going on right now because of all that. Um, open WRT Summit, uh, not really anything. Um, I, I need to send out a, uh, uh, some, an email on, on, uh, to the, to the uh, summit team to talk about creating uh, some subcommittees and uh, what we want those subcommittees to work on. I, I have to do that uh, as soon as possible. And then we can then see if we can recruit people for those subcommittees to uh, take on some of that responsibility for different areas. Um, carrier interest group update. There isn't really an update so much as um, the carrier interest group. Uh, I sent out a um, link on the carrier interest group base camp to have people get involved um, and uh, provide their feedback on um, the particular date we want the next meeting to be. I know we kind of planned for it to be at the end of January or early February. Uh, so if you would like to provide your feedback for availability, please do so. Um, we'll try to get that out as, out as soon as possible on what that exact date is and when the next meeting will be. I know Shalesh had asked what the, what the agenda for the next meeting will be. Uh, I think it's mostly, um, you know, I haven't talked with, with Pasquale and, and Wojtek exactly on what it's going to be. I think the primary things are, are going to be kind of getting feedback from particularly Broadcom on what, on, um, you know, the, the feasibility of, of, of some of the standardization stuff that they want to work on and, and if there's a timeline, um, because I know that was kind of up in the air because they had, they were doing planning for the year ahead. Um, and I, and as for the other parts of the standardization, I know that uh, um, Walter was handling that, and I will have to check in with him and, and get some more feedback. But, uh, you know, again, with the holidays, it's pretty tough to get um, people are still getting back into it and, or not back at work yet. So it's, uh, it's been pretty, pretty slow going on some of that stuff. Um, any any thoughts or questions on on that on any of this stuff? This is a pretty uh, pretty quick meeting, but unsurprisingly, not Hello. a lot. What's that? Well, Eric, I'm I'm working with uh, Pasquale on an update for the board meeting next week. So uh -huh. uh, next next Thursday, there should be a good update on uh, carrier interest group. Okay, sounds good. Great. Uh, I talked to some guys about the regulatory problems here in Europe. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's basically more or less the same uh, ruling. Um, I think it should go into. Uh, it's not fully specified if if uh, this will affect Wi-Fi and um, normal Wi-Fi routers, but it should get in effect. I think mid of year this year and. Yeah, there are already some companies um, asking for a delay, and um, I think there's some uh, committee will be built with uh, lots of stakeholders, which should work on the more detailed uh, clarification of this law in Germany and uh, the other European countries. Okay, I think uh, at least there are some people um, working on it. Someone from the European Parliament and from some other non-profit organizations. <clears throat> okay, that, that's great to Helke, hear. Could you set, Helke, could you send out a link on anything there? Is there anything public that you could share? Yes, I can send out a link, yes. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be great. 
And if you haven't noticed, uh, the lead project plans to do a release um, this month, so I think the code freeze is in, in a few days. Okay, that's great to hear. How's the reconciliation going? Anything new? Uh, have you read the email with the, with, uh, the uh, meeting minutes? I think that's, that's the latest um, status. So we sent out um, the meeting minutes and a little, um, yeah, there was some discussion, I think, mostly about the trademark and the name. And um, yeah, I think nothing happened after that. Was that the meeting that was in, it was early December, perhaps? Uh, there was an additional meeting oh, end of this, uh, so I think um, the week before Christmas or something like this. Okay. I'll, I'll look and see. 19th. 19th. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else that anyone wants to bring up? Anything related to OpenWRT, LEAD? Any topics that they of interest? Did you all see that... Uh a Norton was now going to offer a router and um, a, quote a secure router. So I was just curious if anyone knew that if that was OpenWRT. That was the question I had as well. And I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. I don't have anything more than that though myself. Anyone else? And yeah, who's building the hardware? I can't imagine Norton's actually building the hardware. So yeah. kind of a curiosity question. <laughs> okay, well, we'll right. do the research. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, anything else or we can call it a meeting? All right. Well, uh, thanks everyone for uh, coming out. Uh, Happy New Year again, and uh, we will uh, talk again in uh, next week. Yes. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Happy New Year, everybody. Yep. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.